It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016, and now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Jameis going to look to throw right away. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards, the final tally. I'm sure after he caught the ball and looked up, he thought to himself, uh-oh, trying to find some space, trying to make people miss. But a swarm of defenders were there, and they dropped him behind the line of scrimmage. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The 22 more yards there and another first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And they'll run the end around here with Judy. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Joey Bosa, so strong, able to fight his way in there to make the play. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Now they need two. Here's third down. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he's in. Touchdown, Browns. Nick Chubb taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. For as good as Nick Chubb is in the open field, he's every bit as good when they line him up down near the goal line. He's a speed back between the 20s, but a power back down close. And he forces his way into the end zone. Hopkins with the extra point, And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Well, now how about this return? A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at about the 32. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. 
Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Second down and eight. Back to throw here, Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that's absolutely going to fire this defense up. They made it their mission to deny that completion, and they came through with a nice hit and knocked it incomplete. Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. A handoff running left is Dobbins, and it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Here's Herbert. going to have the first down yardage to the 35. That'll go as a pickup of eight. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Here now, second and four. Herbert now. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And they move this all the way down to the nine. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They'll run with Dobbins. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer from six yards away. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy, quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision and got it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know 
One big play, though, gets him right back up to that level. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. To throw is Winston. Open man, that's Tillman. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Jameis to throw it. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And that's where you're counting on a receiver's size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go up the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Winston. They set up the screen to Chubb. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Jameis again. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Here's Winston. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Winston. There's another catch by the running back, Nick Chubb. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there. Those guys will be able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Winston looking left side that's caught by Moore the Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout and with halftime on the horizon they'll be out of timeouts from here forward now a second and two To throw, Winston. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Winston. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. 
So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. Hopkins kick is good and they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you let's end it with a kick right. A PAT that's number one field goal you'll take punts. You really don't want to do that. In this case they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more but I'd establish the running game they kind of went away from it in the first half I think if they get back in balance it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air and an off balance throw there and it's going to wind up incomplete trying to get their tight end involved finally that's the first time that they've looked his way he's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme yeah it didn't look his way at all in the first half and I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said let's get him involved because he could be a big time playmaker for us short throw underneath to Hurst look at this middle of the field a breakaway inside the 20 touchdown LA Hayden Hurst 74 yards and the Chargers come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. And here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just already you know our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. Throwing, Winston. He's got Njoku over the middle. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. 
Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Winston now. That pass complete to Moore. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Third down and one. And again, it's Chubb. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. 48 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Complete on the quick throw to Moore. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And Chubble tried the middle here, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. That's caught left side by Judy. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Second and five. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. Right back to Judy, and it's complete. It'll be a gain of five, and they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. Now Winston. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Back to throw here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Jameis Winston, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen.
Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 17-14. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away the lane opens here he's past the 30 and all in all a pretty solid return nearly got it to the 35 they'll mark him down officially at the 34 the Chargers getting set to go we certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Here's Herbert. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Herbert. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Pass hauled in by Johnston. And I think he just wanted to give the ball to one of his playmakers to see if they can make something happen. But he ends up throwing into a crowded area. And after the catch... He isn't able to do much with it. Now it's Herbert. Open man downfield, it's Palmer. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now first and goal. Herbert. Over the middle and caught by McConkey. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. From the two now, second and goal. Herbert to throw. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command it, make sure all eyes are on him, all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Herbert going to throw. Open man, it's Johnston. Touchdown, Chargers. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Chargers have taken a fourth quarter lead. What a game this has been and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Yeah. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Winston readies the offense. Down by four. Exactly one minute remaining. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. Now Winston. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. This secondary as a unit, they've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Here's Winston. It's tipped, but it doesn't matter. He still catches it. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Winston to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Second and six coming up. Winston. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. Here's first down. He's back to throw, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. But they'll come up now. This is second and long. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. Brandon, you got us some urgency here. You got to get the guys back to the line of scrimmage, but the problem is all 30 yards downfield after that play. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Down to their last chance now. This is going to have to be a heat for the end zone and just hope for a miracle. And I don't sit back with everyone back defending. I've got to have somebody rushing the quarterback. Don't make it easy for him to set up and throw the ball all the way downfield. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. One last shot now for Winston. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. And I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today... Neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.